Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, we're going to go over the app wide icons in Numbers. So let's go ahead and open up Numbers and let's just continue from the, the spreadsheet we were using in the last video. And so this one, uh, we're going to go across the top again. So spreadsheets, like I was mentioning before, is this is kind of how you go back to the dashboard. So go ahead and click that again. And pretty much it's a good rule of thumb that anytime you are using an Apple-based program is the top left is going to be kind of like the go back or change levels, if you will, uh, on your documents. So uh, the next one's undo. So if you were doing a bunch of stuff, see last one I used was that text. And you, since that was the last thing I did, you could hit redo and it was gonna do that. So back and forth, pretty straightforward. There's also a way where you can shake it. You, could, you couldn't see me shake it, but you can actually shake the iPad or an iPhone, iPod touch, whatever you're using. And you can bring up the undo as well. The next one, slide right over. If you can actually click on uh, the next one is the paintbrush tool. So this is going to be kind of like your details. This is how you edit and move around and change how the style of everything looks. So you can go from editing the table to headers to set to the cell, actual cell itself and kind of formatting the cell. And so the next one, that's kind of it. I'm going to go into more details later on in other videos, but this is just kind of giving you a basic example of what you can do with the paintbrush tool. The next one's the plus sign. So this is gonna be adding symbols, so let's add that. Let's go to here, you can add a chart. It's gonna allow you to move the chart around. You can tap there to edit the data. Go ahead and click done. Uh, go back to the plus sign, you can table again, you can add another table, more shapes. You can swipe back and forth to just kind of change colors and that good stuff. And the last one is gonna be your media. It's gonna, the first time you do this, it's gonna ask you if you want numbers to look at your videos and you go ahead and click OK and then you can look at the different stuff like that and the next one is your wrench tool and this is just kind of your tool the tools button and you can go ahead and click find if you want to look for a specific word or something in the document itself or the spreadsheet I should say and that is I don't really have any data to search there but that's how you do that you can go ahead and click settings uh, from checking the spelling, how you want things to line up with the edges or just centers, change who, who the author is, all that good jazz. And then you can go ahead and set a password. If you need a password protected, let's say this was financial documents or you had bank account information or social security numbers or whatever, you can go ahead and hit your password in there and then you can put a hint if you want to. And that's just good if you're going to be sharing it or if you happen to lose your iPad, that's a great, a great thing to do. Uh, you got the print feature. You go ahead and click which ones you want to print. You can auto fit it, that stuff. Go ahead and click done. Uh, then the help. This is kind of what I explained earlier. I uh, got a little bit more there in terms of what you can do in terms of help with uh, with numbers. Then you got your share icon again. Nothing out of the ordinary. Kind of what I've explained earlier. You can share a link to a specific spot and it's going to save it to your iCloud. You can just send a copy of it or you can open another app. I kind of showed you how to do that already. And then once again, there's the question mark. Uh, kind of shows you different things. And each time you see an arrow, it means it's gonna allow you to do more information with it. Now that's basically it for the site-wide icons. Uh, let's go over one more thing actually, is a plus sign here. You can do this, you add as many sheets as you want. If you don't want to do that, you can always click undo. And then just you can just tap which one you want to go to, switch back and forth. And that is it for the app-wide icons. If you have any questions at all, go to Mac Hel yourmachelpers.com. That's why all you are machelpers with an S.com. And uh, send us an email on there, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.